Lighting on the outskirts of our old outpost just a month ago, and while the first order three weeks after, making their presence known and gripping our humble planet. Well, isn't it through these dark days true heroes arise, such as the legacy of Luke Skywalker, who had defeated the Galactic Empire? But now we have a new beacon of hope emerging. Her name is Rey. She is our spark of hope that ignites the fires of rebellion once more. However, they did have a very crucial instrument at their side, which I'm sure is partly the reason why all of you are here. Well, for this, I like to see. It is a beautiful representation of the wielder's bond to the Force. It is not as clumsy nor as reckless as a blast, but it has the power to create our greatest of heroes and their darkest of foes. It has stood as a symbol of peace and justice during the time of the Old Republic and used in the ancient mysterious arts of the Sith. However, as powerful it may be, it is missing one crucial, vital component. We call the heart of your lightsaber. And that heart would be this kyber crystal. It is a shard of the living force itself. It will act as your conduit, channeling your power through the lightsaber, and thus bringing your blade into existence. I can assure you, it was no easy task for what little we have, and as such, well, we only have four for you to choose from. And the color you choose will resonate the color of your blade, starting with this very one. Blue, wielded by Master Obi Wan Kenobi, his young apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now by Rey, our spark of hope. Green, Master Yoda, Qui Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Luke Skywalker himself. Ah, Violet, mysterious and rare, once wielded by the legendary Master Mace Windu. Red, the crystal of power. Darth Maul, Asajj, Ventress, Darth Vader. And now, now controlled by Kylo Ren. But those are their histories and their stories, and yours are just unfolding. May I ask you, travelers, not to be influenced by the legends that have come before you. For this is your first step into a larger world. Now, once you have chosen that path in front of you, well, the place of all those green dishes in front of you, for they're still very unstable. We need to refine them. Excellent choices. Now we must harness this power. These fragments will be the foundation of your sacred belts. They will act as your center of control, binding you, the crystal, and the force together. Immense discipline is needed for constructing one, since it is a reflection of you and that bond you will share. Now, I can understand it may seem a bit overwhelming. It seems like a lot at first glance, but that is why we are here. We are here to be your guides in this beautiful first chapter of your journey. So without further ado and a moment's hesitation, why don't we explore? Starting with the long slot, being your chest. Sections one and two are your grips, three your emitter, four your end cap, 
And lastly, five is your matching set of activation clips. Now, I can assure you, builders, this is where the fun begins. I only have one more question for all of you. Are each of you ready to build? Yes. Excellent. Then pick up those chassis and together, let's build. You start with the open hollow and an open bed space these towards the ceiling. Directly in the center is your crystal chamber. If you push up on the roof of that chamber, you'll feel a spring pad. Go ahead and grab your kyber crystals, pushing up against that spring pad, locking it into an upright position. You should hear a chime followed by the color resonating through those open beds. If you do not hear this chime nor see the color, it notifies. This could be one or two things. The bond between you and your crystals have overloaded our chassis, or well, we should stop by and parts for the jobs. They may have good days. Needless to say, once those chassis are resonating in those beautiful colors, we are moving on to section five. Section five is your matching set of activation plates. You will choose one matching set from section five. Flip them over and you'll find one will have a red square and the other a blue rectangle. In the center of your chassis, you'll find those same shapes and colors. Blue must be covering directly over blue. Red must be covering directly over red. Locking both halves seamlessly together. As I'm hearing from that side of the room, uh, we're discovering our ignition switch. This is good. By flipping up on it, we hear a bit of an ominous sound, but hearing that distinct misfire sound is very crucial. We are now moving on to sections one and two. Sections one and two will be your grips, which is two of any of the four. It doesn't matter which two, but your favorite two. Any of them will work, be at the top or the bottom. The choice in design is yours. However, builders may have all lights up here and all build the sides. There's even a speed thicker, wider band. This must always go in certain first towards the center. And to secure is the simultaneous push and twist to fasten. For the top, it is a push down, twist to the left. For the bottom, push up, twist to the right. Placing both pieces on simultaneously is like bringing out a washcloth. One for the top and one for the bottom. It's metal on metal. You have nothing to fear. <laughs> now that our grips have been firmly fastened, neither side should fall out when spinning our entire chest. Since it is starting to look more like a hilt, we're moving on to section three. Section three will be your winner. This will be this will go over the open, hollow end of your hilt. And unlike your grips, this should have no pressure when applying. Should be in fluid motion until properly fast. Once again, you're better from section three. No pressure is needed, just a simple twist and you're good. Now that our emitter has been fastened, flip your entire belt upside down, exposing those flat fuel cells. You will cover with the end cap found in section four. Just like your emitter, your end cap should go on as smooth as possible. If you feel any pressure or resistance, remove it and try it again. Spark be easily cross thread. However, when your hilt has been fully assembled yeah, like mine, like, place it on the right side in front of you <laughs> and wait for further inspection. If Savi lets us, though. Satisfied with your build? Are we satisfied? Okay, check your build. Or a little modifications are needed. Excellent composition. And yeah, let's double check out the whole thing. Just to make sure. Do we like good construction? Perfect. Excellent. When the time comes, I'll ask everyone to activate it. Yes. You can flip up to activate it. Yeah. 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 You can flip down. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. exception yeah. work. Good job. Satisfied with your build? Do we like it? May I? All right. Excellent. When the time comes, I will ask everyone to activate together. You will flip up to activate. Deactivate, you will flip down. Otherwise, exception will work. Good choice on the uh, bantha leather and the, uh, uh, <laughs> well, the bar-like wood. Let's just hope some pretty powerful performance as well. Perfect.
You made the movie. Okay, that was a mistranslation if you know it. You know, it's hard to go, you know, and it's not, it, the throat doesn't help. Oh, yes, and what a, yes, yes, yes. And what about that protocol that went up with Station 15? I lost an arm, Harrison. This Mubo said this wasn't cheap. Yes, we shall, shall we? This particular minute will go off the way in your savers. When you get to the next phase, at least in the beginning, I highly recommend that you hold the tightening of the plane. Hold it gently. So that this is right here. This is this ball. And if you have any type of sheet yeah, inside, you can label all the time. Exactly. So then why are Something to keep in mind is this emitter might give you some trouble. So if you have a hard time putting it in, you can always take the emitter part yeah, out. Yeah. Put the safer seat in and put the emitter part on top. Of it. I believe the hilt is in good yeah, hands. Get ready for the next phase. <laughs> okay. Needless to say, Bill, this AC is from truly inspirational works of art, but man, it's calling me to take a large step back away from your workspace. Right now, my friends are coming around to attend your attention to the crystal stabilization process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ye